Good morning, Sailor Senshi, and welcome to the second episode of Sailor Senshi News Network. What do you think of that name? I kind of love it. This is the Sailor Moon News for May 13th, 2021. We have just a little bit of news that I wanted to catch you up on in case you missed any of these items. First off, jeans, the Jin, Jin's jeans collaboration of Sailor Moon glasses. This was the second line of glasses that Jeans sold. They have decided to re-release these in limited quantities on the Jeans online shop starting from today. So this lineup consists of 24 different eyewear types, including glasses. There's also glasses cases. There's little mini pouches. There's also a glasses cord, which you can use to hang your glasses off of a cord like a Lanyard. They also mentioned there's no additional production happening of these glasses, so if you want them, this is your last time to get them. You would need to use a proxy in order to purchase these through jeans since they are only available in Japan. The glasses are 13,200 yen, the cases are 2420 yen, the mini pouch is 1650, and the glasses cord is 1320 yen. I bought several of these glasses as well as the accessories when they first came out through my own proxy and and I do own the Sailor Moon glasses from the first Jin's collaboration. I was able to take these into the Jin shop in San Francisco, California, and they were able to put in my prescription lenses so that I can wear these every single day. In fact, I'm wearing them right now. The second line is based on the Outer Senshi, so you have Usagi, Chibiusa, Haruka, Michiru, Setsuna, and Hotaru. I will be reviewing the ones that I chose to purchase once they come in. I chose a few of the different glasses as well as a bunch of the accessories, and I really can't wait for them to come in because I am overdue for a prescription change and a frames change, so I am totally ready to wear some new glasses. I will mention, if you do have a United States prescription and you can get into a jeans store, they will put the lenses in for free or for a very inexpensive price if you want to do any additional upgrades. Now, since I moved to Denver, Colorado, I'm not really sure if I can send these into jeans in order for them to put prescription lenses into new frames, especially ones that I have ordered from Japan, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to try and see if that's something that I can do. If you have experience with that, like sending them frames that you have purchased in order to get new prescriptions put in them, let me know because I am very curious if I can do that. It would definitely save me a trip to their store in San Francisco. I mentioned San Francisco because I used to live there and that was the closest store to me. However, they do have a couple of other stores in the US. Okay, with that said, we have the second piece of news for today. There are pre-sales going on of the Escape from the Dark Knight Wedding Party, which is basically an escape game located in Japan that you can do with some of your friends. It's a five person maximum per team and you have 60 minutes in order to get out of this escape room. If you order through the Pretty Guardians, then you get additional little perks like a picture ticket style clear card at random. Now I did want to mention as well, because of the events of the world currently happening and Japan has been slowly rolling out the vaccines, unfortunately they haven't been able to roll them out as fast as we have here in the US, they did have to limit the times for some of them, and they are offering refunds for people who pre-ordered during the times that they had to cancel. Hopefully that doesn't impact the long-term escape room time frame because it's supposed to happen until April 17th, 2022, and I really want to go to it. So I'm really hoping that they can continue to do business so that I could check this out next year. So a little bit of other overseas news. If you are interested in buying from proxies overseas, there's a few few different proxies, which I will feature in these news videos that I purchase things from, uh, from Hong Kong, from Taiwan, from different Asian countries, because they do have a lot of really cute collaborations. I, I in Wonderland uh, just posted this picture of some really cute summer floaties that are Sailor Moon. There's a few different options, so you can get some blow up floaties for your pool. These include some swimming rings, some little floaty wands, as well as some little floating boards. And those are child size. They are not adult size. I've seen pictures of people holding them, but super cute if you want to purchase those for the summertime. And last but definitely not least, 
Hot Topic just restocked some of the sizes for these super popular Sailor Moon Crystal sweatpants. These are in men's sizes and they feature Usagi on one side and they also feature her name written out on the other side. So if you missed those when they sold out uh, yesterday, you can still get them in small and medium currently. Hot Topic does tend to bring sizes back slowly and then sell out really quickly. So definitely keep an eye on the website in case your size is currently sold out because these are very popular. I'm definitely picking up some for myself. So that's it for my Sailor Moon news for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back as soon as we have more updates in the Sailor Moon universe. Uh, do you like the name Sailor Senshi News Network? Let me know. I would love to know if you're enjoying these kind of videos and I will be back very soon. In fact, I'm recording a few videos today of some new reviews from my own collections and my own hauls. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye.